Okay, everyone, we have a bonus vlog post today for all you music lovers out there. I have created a playlist on Spotify of almost all of the songs I listen to on my just about 10 hour trip today. But I did somewhere kind of in the middle, just kind of record some comments and stuff and stories about songs that I was listening to. So, and I've, in the comment, I've listed the songs and also posted a link to the Spotify playlist if you use Spotify. Um, so I hope you enjoy. I did. All right, favorite song of the day that I haven't heard, that I had not heard before, was the swimming song by Loudon Wainwright III. I've listened to it probably like 10 times today. <laughs> I don't know, I just love it. Also, right now I'm listening to Get Back by the Beatles. It reminds me of driving from Pennsylvania up to Maine in the summers. My mom had a box of cassette tapes in the back she kept under the seat of the front seats and we listened to the 60s and 70s rock summer in the city by the lemon spoon bowl for some reason i always think of driving over the tappan zee bridge when i hear that song i think the tappan zee bridge has been blown up on purpose well, obviously on purpose <laughs> um, by the government. <laughs> I don't think it's in use anymore. That's the point. And we must have been driving to Rye, I guess, to, to go visit Mike and Pam. Just listened to Hot Patootie from the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. I watched that for the first time probably since college a few months ago <laughs> and became obsessed with the soundtrack. I watched it one day, then watched it again the second day and just listened to the music over and over and have been since then. <laughs> so Hot Patootie is sung by Meatloaf. And my goodness, Tim Curry is amazing in Rocky Horror Picture Show. He's a, he's a, he gives a pretty incredible performance. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. It's been really windy for the majority of the drive. Still two to two and a half hours away from my campground for the night at Black Mesa State Park in Oklahoma. And it's supposed to be windy there too. Like mid 20s. Mile per hour. Miles per hour. We'll see what the campground looks like and we'll assess the situation when I get there. It's not going to be any better at the next campground I'm going to, at least for these next two days. Otherwise, I, I was thinking I would try to drive straight through and get a couple nights there. So it looks like it's just gonna be windy all across the area over the next two days. So we'll see. Just listen to Rock and Roll by the Velvet Underground. Man, I love that band and Lou Reed, his solo stuff. I saw Lou Reed perform at I think it was like a benefit show, so there were other acts. But it was the first time I hung out really with my friend Ben from the Birchmere of DC, well, Alexandria, Virginia. And we went up to New York and ended up staying at his friend's place that happened to be literally across the street from one of my dorms at NYU. So <laughs> it was really fun. It was awesome to see Lou Reed. 
it was the start of a beautiful friendship with Ben. Hi, Ben. And, um, God, what great music. Also, and in, if you're interested in the history of punk at all, I think my brother Andy gave me this book called The Oral History of Punk, and it's just, it's a book of just quotes and I think interview answers of, from, like, Biggie Pop, um, Lou Reed, I can't remember who else was in there because it's been a while since I read it, uh, anyway, it's really interesting, it, it's, it paints a, it paints a picture of that time and that place. Made a big U-turn, musically speaking, and <laughs> jump back to a fourth grade memory, my first jazz dance recital to Good Vibrations, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, before he was fear, before he was Dignan and the Departed. I think I actually put that song on a playlist when I ran a miserable 13.1 miles half marathon, El Paso half marathon. I think it helped me through. kind of a 12 days of Christmas nine ladies dancing deal which actually you should be able to see on my YouTube page I think that playlist is public but I found these three women from Nigeria dancing to Pito and 
I just loved that video. I watched it over and over again. <laughs> and so I also downloaded the song and it's really good. I hope you like it. I've been listening to a mix of salsa, bachata, and kisomba music. I started doing a lot of the like kind of Latin ballroom dances in El Paso and had an instructor and friend, Danny. Hi, Danny. And hi, Joni. Joni of El Paso Ballroom Dance Academy. It's a wonderful place. And they do, they have salsa, social, well, they have socials, dance socials, almost every weekend in, you know, kind of, or at least that's the way it was in, before the pandemic hit. But it's so much fun. I can't wait to find a good spot in Dallas. Danny and I, we did, we focused mostly on salsa and we performed a couple of times and I think that what I'm learning about me is that, <laughs> maybe I knew this already, I'm kind of motivated by fear. Um, I don't love to perform, but I just kind of needed to do it. And I, it, it was kind of the same. I spoke at, I got a dual degree, JD and Master of Science, and they were both under the same uh, school, the law school, and I wasn't going to go to my graduation because it's just not something that's really that important to me, but I was approached to speak on behalf of the master's program, and I really didn't want to <laughs> in front of like probably a couple thousand people, but so that's why I did it. <laughs> so... Um, it's kind of the same. I spent five weeks studying in Nepal and just heard so much about the leeches. I just wanted to get a leech like right away just to get it over with, <laughs> but I never got a leech. And similarly, when I got out to El Paso and, you know, started hiking, we were just talking about rattlesnakes nonstop. Rattlesnakes probably came up in the office several times a week, at least for the first year first year and a half before the pandemic hit. Never saw a rattlesnake. I guess know the thing that you're afraid of. <laughs> and it'll be less scary. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I've been enjoying listening to this music. The rem remembrance of El Paso and good times dancing and friends. So I hope you enjoy these, some of these songs that I've loved over the course of the past few years. Speaking of law school, and I know I mentioned New Orleans already, or law school at least already, here is one from Trombone Shorty. Love this album, just love it. Here's some more brass for you. We're a long ways from Frenchman Street. We're a long ways from Bonton. We're a long ways from Tipitina's. I hope they get back soon after this pandemic. <laughs> 